Since I became an ambassador for the Hearing from UK, that is when we were able to put the plan into action and use our contact to try to see if we could set up the project in Bangladesh. Merrill's son, Justin, knew exactly who to speak to. He made the breakthrough Joe had been looking for. Lovely to see you. That couldn't have done it alone. It was to do with all the teamwork. It was to do with the contact that the Hearing Fund UK had and the Osmond family themselves. We were going to help a lot of kids with the gift of hearing. You're not only an amazing ambassador for not only the Hearing Fund, but people throughout the whole world. So we're so proud of you. Thank you for making this happen. Go get them. Now, is this all the volunteers? Yes. Yes. You're sure? Yes. It doesn't seem like enough. The team, brought on board by the Osmonds, the Starkey Hearing Foundation, is on a 10-year mission to fit a million hearing aids around the world. You need to have someone who speaks Bangla at every single station so they can communicate. This one clinic alone is costing £300,000. You have to be patient because some of them don't hear. It needs to run like clockwork. I think the challenge is making sure that all the volunteers know where they're assigned to. How are you guys? Basic project management organization and, and some basic training stuff that ideally would have been done yesterday uh, when we set up the site, but because it wasn't, it's okay, we can handle it, we can do it today. Okay, cool, thank you so much. Absolutely. Once attached to the earpiece, the hearing aid is turned up gradually until the right volume is found. The result? An ear full of sound. It's magic of watching a child hear for the very first time. <laughs> it's Joe's last day in Dhaka. It's been an extraordinary seven days. Something happened. I've fallen in love with the country. My life has changed, and I'm having this incredible new sense of hearing. I feel a connection to the country and its people. All the emotions that were happening when the hearing aid was to a son. Watching the children the way their eyes get lighter. <laughs> it's been very rewarding, I feel very humble. There's so many more children that I want to eat. So it's not over.